Okay, so in this video we will install the plugin, the co-reader plugin, project title together. It's the first time for me to install that plugin, so we will do it in almost real time, if you know what I mean. I will do this together with you in this video. So here we have a Kindle, the Kindle Basic e-reader, and on this I have jailbreaked it and I have installed co-reader. To install the co-reader plugin, you need to run the latest co-reader version. So please be sure that you have updated to run the latest version of co-reader. I have a problem maybe because I run the developer channel and run the nightly. So I always have the latest version of co-reader installed, but uh, the project title web page says that you should use a specific version, the latest stable release. So hopefully it will work on the night list also. So let's go to my desktop cam. Here we have my desktop and then we open Chrome. Here we see the project title website. And to find this, you just search for project title co-reader plugin in Google. I will put this link in the description text, you can find it that way too. But just search for project title co-reader plugin and you get this GitHub page. Here you see we have a different version and here it says uh, this version, uh, this release only works with co-reader official release version 25.8. And um, I run the developer version, so I have an even newer version than this. So hopefully it will work anyway. I don't know. We will see. But here you download the file to your computer by clicking on it. So now I have downloaded it. Now we go to my file manager here we see that file you should unzip this file too so i double click on it and now i have the project title co plugin folder that is the folder we should move to the e-reader in my case the kindle a jailbreak kindle so that folder will be moved to the kindle later on but now we go back to Chrome because we need to see the installation guide. Step one, download the plugin and prepare your device. Before plugging your device in, show the top menu of CoReader, tap the wrench icon, more tools, plugin management and disable uncheck cover browser. Tap restart now. So we go back to my table cam and do this. We need to uncheck cover browser in co-reader so let's go back to my table cam here we have my kindle again and the kindle runs co-reader so now we go up here and take these tools icon and here we should have more tools here you see that you need to click down here to the second page to find more tools. Here we have the plugin management. Here we should uncheck the cover browser as you see there. Uncheck that. Restart now. So now I've turned off the cover browser plugin in Cori. Do you see no covers anymore? So now we can plug this in into the computer. So let's see if we can do that. We just plug in a cable that is connected to the computer. Like so, let's see if it shows up in my file browser by going to the desktop cam again and then start the file browser. Okay, I, I had to um, exit co-reader. So I 
connect the cable to the computer with co-reader exit. So this is the Kindle UI now that makes it possible to connect the Kindle to your computer. Now we can go to my table desktop cam again and go into this. Here we now see the Kindle, so we can open the Kindle folder in a new tab like this. And here we should see the co-reader folder, open that. And here we should see the plugin folder, open that. So now we can move or copy this folder to that folder, like so. So now we should have that folder copied, as you see there. Now we must have two tabs with the Kindle open because we should also go into the co-reader folder and find the fonts folder. And here from the plugin, we should find the fonts folder. This folder called source should be copied to the fonts folder on your Kindle. So move this or copy to the fonts folder. Now let's see the guide again. So I did that correctly. We have that. Locate and copy the fonts folder. So I need to copy it. I moved it. Sorry for that. So copy. Uh, so it is on the both places. So you have the fonts on both the project title co-plugin folder you see here and also the fonts folder in co-reader as you see here fonts now we have that there too now we should do the same with the icon folder as you see here icons all these should be copied to the icons folder in your co-reader install installation so copy these go to the icons folder in your co-reader installation i can't find any let's see the instructions again uh, icon folder and, and ah the icons folder to the co-reader folder so if you don't have an uh, icons folder already you should copy the complete folder to the co-reader folder so then we do that instead. We take the icons folder, copy that, go to the co-reader folder and paste it. Like so. Now we have an icons folder there with the icons. So now we have both the fonts needed, the icons needed and also the plugin in the co-reader folder. And the same with the plugin, we have the project title plugin in the plugin here. We have the fonts and icons there too. So now I believe we should eject the device. Then we do that. Uh, let's click on this to eject the Kindle, like so. Now we go back to my table cam. Now I unplug the cable. Like so. Now we should start Kindle again. I mean co-reader again. Start co-reader. So now we start co-reader. Like so. So now what should we do? We should go up into this menu again, the tool menu and go into page two, more tools. We go to plugin management. Here we should activate the new plugin.
I can't find that plugin. So maybe it only works on the stable release. Or I did something wrong. But I don't think I did something wrong. We need to downgrade my code reader installation to last stable version instead. So we do that, we click into the stable again. So I now install the stable version instead. I have downgraded it to the stable version, hopefully, code reader. So now we have downgraded the code reader installation. Uh, and now you see we have the new plugin <laughs> already activated, as you see here. Really nice. This is the title plugin and you can uh, do different stuff with this plugin. So now it works. So there you see, you need to have the stable version for this to work. Otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, so I run the nightly version and it didn't work. But now I can use this with all the cool icons as you see here. Uh, we can see if we have some uh, settings. I don't know where to find the settings. Let's read the manual once again by going to the desktop cam. So if we go to the top menu and the filing cabinet. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go back to my table cam. So to have the settings for the project title plugin, you just click up here and go to the file cabinet, as you see there. Then you have the project title settings here. You have Kavalist, you have a lot of different cool stuff here. Uh, advanced settings, folder display. Uh, cool. Uh, maybe we can do... Nice. And we can have uh, items per page. Let's um, do this to see if it, yes, the book covers gets bigger. So let's have four there, uh, like so, as you see here. Then you have the book covers a bit bigger. Okay, but this is for another video maybe. But this is how you install the plugin. Uh, as you saw, it was very hard the first time for me to do this because I had the wrong version of uh, Code Reader. So the, the installation of the plugin was quite easy, but then to have it work uh, because I had a, a developer version installed, you need to have the stable version. And also to plug this Kindle into my Mac was problematic. I need to exit code reader first and run the normal kindle ui before doing that then it worked but now i had have the title plugin installed and if you don't want to have it you just change to the normal cover browser okay bye